when I think back on the collapse of the Soviet system, you could clearly distinguish between uh, right and wrong or black and white. The Soviet system was black and therefore move uh, towards a uh, uh, more open society was white. Uh, as you move towards a more open society, uh, the white uh, became shades of gray. And now you have a new form of what you might call closed society. In Russia, 30 years ago, George believed that there were possibilities to help jumpstart what he thinks of as an open society. And he began with very core principles to him, such as education, critical thinking, providing opportunities for people to go abroad. Russia has tradition of strong state, uh, not strong society. And our mission at that time and our window of opportunity uh, was to help the people understand themselves as citizens of the country responsible for what is going on there. The Open Society Institute played a role in terms of uh, support and change in the education, in terms of curricular development, in terms of infrastructure. It was something very new also for the Russia, like giving grants to teachers that are really innovators. Trying to create this climate of democracy in their schools so that students could practice democracy. He helped the scientists to survive when it was very difficult for them. Из ксерокса, факса, компьютера 1991 года уже существовала такая большая информационная сеть, охватывающая страну. The most visible impact was the network of internet centers. Open internet centers for students, professors, and people from the society. In 33 universities, we had 33 representatives of George Soros Foundation in all these regions. It was Нет, нет, Россия, конечно, не открытое общество. Мы не успели пока привить какие-то ценности толерантности, ценности компромисса. Если главное — это право в демократии, то выясняется, что наш старт и был нашим зенитом. The situation now is quite bad and quite alarming regarding even basic rights that are enshrined in the Russian Constitution. Мы опять имеем судебный произвол. Пространство усиления цензуры, подавление оппозиции. The war definitely added to the propaganda hysteria and pressure on freedom of expression. Uh, there is fear because people who express their opinions might be punished by the state. People might be killed. I think Russia is returning to the 17th century and even returning sometimes with all these laws to Stalin. It's impossible to be an uh, NGO working for human rights, working for people. И дело здесь не только в том, что приходят плохие или хорошие правители, режимы. Дело в неготовности общества. We all thought that uh, we could change the country overnight and that we would be able to build new societies on that blank slate and ignore cultural and institutional legacies. I said to him that I think it would be better to And George I I I think this was not a waste at all. Actually, even the very precedent of how this can be done, I think we will use in future. Вот все эти тысячи инициатив, эти сотни организаций, ни одна из них не умерла без следа. У меня был было 10 отделений. Выжила только одна. Но эта выжившая организация сегодня лучшая юридическая защита журналистов на всю Россию. 
We have at least civil society, which we never had under the Soviet period of time. At least several generations of children have had access to all this variety and richness. Чехова, Достоевского, Толстого, Чайковского. Мы страна с великой культурой. 20 там 25 лет недостаточно. Russia today is something very different from what I was hoping it would become. The yearning for freedom, uh, certain principles uh, have survived underground. So feeding it helps to have the next flowering. And the more there is below ground, the better the chances when it comes out.